This, this award really is a tremendous honor because uh, when I was called, I just thought to myself about all the people down through the years that I've worked with and that really I never set out to do anything spectacular myself. I was just trying to help other people and support other people in their work. So I, I thought about uh, Lancaster Farmland Trust and EDC and even the folks at uh, Turkey Hill Dairy that we worked on projects together with and Lancaster uh, Conservancy and I, the, the list is too long. If I, if I name them all is too much, but it, it's people with dedication and passion that I just tried to come alongside and help. And so it's an honor for me personally, but I think it's an honor for all those folks and the work they did and the success they've had. Well, John and I met uh, in 2004 when he chaired the search committee to find a new executive director for Lancaster Farmland Trust. So uh, for almost two decades, he's been a volunteer for our organization. I've, al I've always been close to land. I've always lived along the Susquehanna River. I mean, not, not every single year, but most of my life. And uh, I've been very blessed to be a, a part of uh, making uh, dairy products and things like that at Turkey Hill. So it, the journey really, though, begins when I get a call to, to uh, volunteer at Lancaster Farmland Trust. And I came into that thinking, well, I don't know if I really you know, care that much about preservation. Within a couple of years, I found myself feeling very passionate. Um, and then EDC, I began to realize there's, a, there's an urban uh, redevelopment factor. If we're going to preserve farmland in Lancaster County, we need to also think about how do we make our city uh, vital and our urban areas vital. So my relationship with John started back in 2014 when I took on the role at EDC as president. John was serving as the chair of our board of directors. Uh, and that began what now has been an uh, eight or nine year run where we've been working together uh, on a number of projects. He was on the board for a while and now we've transitioned into much more community partnerships. I have a hard time saying I led this. There's a couple of things that I, you know, I guess I could take credit for, but mostly I've been involved in a lot of very cool things and yes, I've provided some leadership in, in many of them, but uh, farmland preservation, uh, you know, the, the work in urban redevelopment at EDC, uh, building, working with Lancaster County Solid Waste Management Authority and PPL, to put up wind turbines and uh, generate steam from methane gas to uh, Lancaster Clean Water Partners and, and uh, helping to uh, do conservation on our streams and stream restoration and ha helping our, uh, particularly our farmers, uh, figure out how to fund the things that they need to do on their farms to make those farms sustainable over a long period of time. John has a wonderful leadership style. Uh, it really ties together his depth of experience in business and being a business leader in this community with his personal passions and also just a real love of Lancaster County. He really encourages people and organizations to do their best, to excel. He was always there for the staff and for the board to provide advice and guidance, uh, but also the, that kind of encouragement that we needed to try new things. Uh, he teaches, he mentors, and then he fuels people's passions and he figures out how do you take that energy and really make something good of it? With, with the, the sole underlying piece is this passion for the community. He loves Lancaster County. He knows he can bring something to the table. And when you have his commitment, you have both a friend, a leader, a mentor, and someone who can really support you as you try to work your way through tough challenges. I just think there are a lot of bright people in the world and getting more people to the table, talking with each other, working together, collaborating is, is the best you can do to help a community or to help any organization succeed. So the, the real role of the leader is to create vision and help people coalesce behind that vision and take action. This is a very cool thing to like get this vision where you realize you have this national treasure, this farmland here. It, it's, it's, there's, there's nothing really like it anywhere in the United States. And, and, then you, and then you say, well, I want to preserve it, and I need the, these farms to sustain over a long period of time. If you want to do that, you got to, and say, but I don't want to kill economic development. So you have, to, you have to say, well, how are you going to do that? And it's in urban redevelopment. People don't really understand how expensive it is to do urban redevelopment. So, they, so you pave under farms. That's what other counties have done. And when you bring those two ideas together and, and leverage them, it's, it's, it, it's, it was really awesome to watch. It was like really an aha moment for me to put those two ideas together. I, that's, if I were to look at one thing I did, I don't know that I was the only person that did it,
but I probably most clearly caught the vision for the intersection between urban redevelopment, farmland preservation, and environmental conservation, and, and worked to, on all of those simultaneously. It was, it's been a great journey. I am very familiar with this award, and I know how prestigious it is to receive it, and um, I can't, um, can't think of anyone that's more deserving of this than John Cox. Congratulations, John, on winning the DELP Award. You're a wonderful and deserving awardee.